basically what you see here, the restore is basically an earned income source we have to be able to generate money to help us build more homes. So basically what you're going to see in this facility is everything in there was donated by manufacturers, wholesalers, retailers, contractors, individuals. What's in it for them is a, is a uh, tax write-off they qualify. What we do is we target low-income families, but this is open to the general public Tuesday through Saturday. And so we'll discount these products in here 30 to 50 to 70 percent off. And our goal is to cover 100 percent of our admin and overhead costs. So all the money that we get for home sponsorships go to the homes. And at the end of the day, we literally divert millions of pounds of landfill, perfectly good products. So this week I've seen a truck roll up, a tractor trailer from Anderson Windows, brand new windows. They were mismeasures and those kind of things. They're perfectly good windows. Had another delivery yesterday for Ashley Furniture. Brand new, see some leather couches in there. So name brands that we kind of get the overflow uh, from the industry. So we're very fortunate today to have guests with us today from our elected officials. And first I'm gonna ask Susan McKee to come up, who she is the district director for President Pro Tem Daryl Steinberg, who is the charge of the Senate for the state of California. Susan. Ken. Got her out of bed this morning, you know, she had to come down here. I see Ken uh, almost every morning at more like 7.30 or 8 at the Old Soul on Broadway. That's his uh, other office, I guess. And so I was complaining to him yesterday that he was going to make me get up on a Saturday morning. But I'm happy to be getting up this morning and, and helping everybody celebrate the... Oh, opening of this new restore, and I want to give this uh, little certificate to you, you and for all the wonderful things that Habitat for Humanity is just such an amazing organization. Um, but we're really lucky here in Sacramento to have this guy pushing us all to, to do the right thing and, and helping everybody. So um, I'm really happy to be here, and, I, and I'm sorry to send this out. We all know that I'm sure Daryl's getting an early cut on the uh, the budget already, right? <laughs> I didn't have money. <laughs> <You know, yeah. laughs> but uh, but Susan and, and all the staff have been great supporters, and and know that Daryl Steinberg is our Senate Pro Tem is very pro social issues for people low income families and helping support them. Next person I would like to have come up this morning is uh, Roger Dickinson. And Roger was our, you know, our Board of Supervisors here for over 16 years, right? And now he is the assembly member for district number nine. Very good. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna roll here this morning. Yeah. And I just want you to know that Roger has been one of our greatest supporters for Sacramento Habitat Humanity. The only reason we've been building for the last seven years is because of DLV work as far as working the Department of Finance, the Board of Supervisors, and, his, and other people on the Board of Supervisors about getting negotiated tax lien sale property where we were able to get land before it goes to the auction block, pay the outstanding taxes and fees, find a family, build a house, sell it to the family. So taking property just been sitting fallow for years and turning it into a home for a low-income family and somebody who generates taxes for the tax uh, uh, revenue. So with that, I'd like to introduce Roger Dixon. Roger? Thanks. Well, thank, thank you and good morning. I, I had to show up. My staff was all sleeping in. <laughs> no, they, they're, they're out and about today as, as, as well, just as Susan is, uh, every day, uh, representing uh, me and, and uh, Senator Steinberg. Uh, I don't think we can say enough about the, the work that our staff does, and I really do want to recognize Su Susan, who uh, has been terrific for uh, more, there, more years than either she or I want to want to uh, account uh, help, yeah, helping helping people throughout the Sacramento region. I'm really pleased to, to be here. This actually recalls for me uh, when I was on the Board of Supervisors and the idea of bringing a restore to Sacramento first arose. And I, uh, I don't remember how many years ago that was, but I'd say at least 10. At least 10. At least, at least 10. And for quite a while, I, I tried to help Habitat at that time find a, find a suitable location, which was quite a, a challenge given the, the needs that the facility had to, had to meet as, as well as finding something that was affordable and accessible for uh, those who would want to want to shop. But it's been a great run finding a place for the restore and now this new location, which uh, uh, I think is going to be uh, even even better. Uh, and the support of, of Habitat is uh, so critical uh, 
Uh, it's a way in which uh, we can take advantage of providing value. And by by the way, for those of you who've gotten here early, because the opening is at 10, right? Yeah. So for those of you who've gotten here early, Ken told me there's an, an extra 25% off. <laughs> 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 So, so Ken's got the details. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, yeah. So, that sounds like legislation. Huh? Okay, all right. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, I appreciate uh, so much your support for Habitat uh, because of what it does in our community. But Habitat does not just here, but of course around the around the world. And perhaps all of you, or at least most of you, have been to. A, an, uh, a dedication, a ribbon cutting of a, of a habitat home, the opportunity for a family to, to move in, to have some place to, to call their own. Of course, we're thinking green as Ken was, was talking about, but the heart and soul of what Habitat for Humanity does is giving an opportunity for home ownership to families who would otherwise never likely have that chance. And when you see the faces of the people who get the chance to move into those homes, and they put their own hard work into them, as well as all the, the volunteer efforts that's contributed, you know, you know that you are getting a family that isn't just going to occupy a house. You know that's a family that's going to be a building block of a stronger and better neighborhood that builds a better and stronger community. So what goes on here contributes very directly to that effort we all are engaged in, those who volunteer in whatever way they, they choose to, to help Habitat and help our families. Thanks very much. So, you know, I, I think uh, one of the things you realize we couldn't do what we do without the support of our local jurisdictions and our elected officials, and I can tell you these two folks right here, whenever we've had home dedications, they're always on Saturday mornings and weekends and on their time, they always show up, and we really appreciate that because that shows the commitment at both the state, the local, the city, the county, the state level for the programs we do. And, uh, and it makes a difference. The folks we serve are very, very appreciative. This is not a giveaway program. They work hard. And uh, so without that, without, I'd like to turn over to Todd back though. Do you have anything you'd like to say? I, I think you two have kind of really said it all. Huh? Okay, Todd is our Restore uh, Business Development Director in charge of our Restore. Okay. And I just want to acknowledge him and our, our the Sam Gambino, our CFO, and the other staff members out there. I think they're sleeping in today. This is actually our third location. You can actually walk down the ramp here and look about three blocks that way where we originally started out down at 7th Street. They've leveled that building for Township 9. About 3,000 units are going to build down there. We went to the Depot Park for five years, and now we're back here. We have a 10-year lease. So we don't plan to go anywhere else. I'm not going through another move, okay? <laughs> if Think about a... Think, there are staff. Yeah. And if you think about moving your house, this is like moving your house on steroids, okay? <laughs> so uh, a lot of hard work went into this, both volunteers helping us and our staff, uh, everyone involved in the community. So with that, I think we're going to have a ribbon cutting ceremony this morning. And if I could ha have our two uh, elected officials and the staff from our elected officials come forward, and we'll let you help us cutting the ribbon this morning. So I've given you. Any paparazzi that need to get their cameras in there? Well, are you going to? Are you going to? Oh, oh yeah, I'll be in here. I'm, I'm going to keep my fingers back here. <laughs> yeah, after this, we're not trusting you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what you'll do? Oh, I, oh, I. Okay. <laughs> we'll, give a, we'll give him a countdown. We got a one, and a two, and a three. All right, he's done it. Before. Doors are going to go up. It may take a second or two here. These are not electric doors. These are hand fired doors. So, <laughs> so anybody have any questions while the doors are going up? No <laughs> questions. <laughs> Just shut up and let me go shop. Well, okay. <laughs>